All right, guys, this is Cutlass coming at you. I wanted to uh, taste this today. This Crittenden's Cut Above Bottled in Bun. I picked this up, uh, I believe, on Thursday in South Haven from Divine Wine and Spirits. So a shout out to Josh, the owner. Amazing guy, uh, really friendly. But I wanted to uh, taste this because I was in a uh, live stream last night with uh, Baker Drinks, Major Zero, uh, RJ the uh, Fed, um, Chris, uh, Bourbon Rider, uh, and this was brought up. Uh, if I forgot anybody else, I sincerely apologize. Uh, but uh, this was brought up and it was talked about, and so I knew I had a bottle and I wanted to taste it and kind of let everyone know how I felt about this bottle. And I had to pick this up. This is a Mississippi product. I'm a Mississippi boy, so I had to get this to see what it was all about. And I had seen it on Bruzel as well. But again, it's Crittenden's Cut Above, Bottled in Bun, at least 100, well, it's 100 proof and aged at least four years. So I've already poured some into my Glencairn. So the nose. No sweetness on the nose. There, I have no vanilla, no caramel, none at all. There's some oak. A little spice coming off, very little. Kind of like a, a smoky oakiness. Smoky oak. I don't think there's a smoky oakiness. I don't. Smoky oak. Alright, let's try the palette. Okay. The notes that I did not get, and man, that is a long finish. The notes that I did not get on the nose, the caramel and the vanilla are there on the palate. They are definitely there. And that oakiness as well, but that oak is not off throwing. It doesn't intrude and, and, and uh, mess up the, the drink. Um, this is really good. Uh, I believe the uh, owner's name is Matt Crendon. He did an awesome job with this. This is awesome. Um, I would definitely love to try the single barrel double oak. Uh, I haven't seen it on a shelf uh, here in my area. Man, this is good. I'm sorry, this is really good. Uh, so all those guys that, that were on the live stream last night, Baker Drinks, Major Zero, uh, Chris, Bourbon Rider, uh, RJ the Fed, uh, I believe uh, Rusty Lugnuts was on there as well. Uh, please make sure you get a bottle of this. Do not pass this bottle up. Um, this is a definite buy. I will buy this again. Uh, the only reason I may not buy this again if I, if I see if I see the double oak on the shelf next to it, and I still have um, this bottle sitting on the shelf unfinished. Um, that may be the only reason why or if I just had to make a choice between the two I'm going for the double oak because that's really I really want to try that um, but this man I, I'm usually a high proof guy I, I like things around that 110 115 even up to that 130 uh, mark uh, but sitting at 100 proof this is an awesome drink um, man any time of the day I plan to enjoy a cigar with it, the uh, Casa Fernandez 2014 Anniversario. This is pretty old school. Uh, they've changed their name to Agonorsa Leaf. Uh, if you're familiar with that, they make the Supreme Leaf. Uh, they've done some rebranding. They don't even have this look anymore. Uh, so this is pretty old school. I'm, I plan to enjoy this today along with this drink. This is awesome. So two base, two spectacular items here, the cigar, this drink. I plan to have a wonderful day. Guys, I hope you have one as well. Cheers, everyone.